Good morning or good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the Spanish. My name is Mrs. Martin. I'm the head of the department. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about uh, the GCSE Spanish course and, uh, and to maybe hopefully answering as many questions that you have in your head as possible. Nothing new. Uh, Spanish is not only a subject, that's what I always say. Spanish, it is, it is a tool, it is, um, it is something that you might need in your future, it's useful for the holidays, it's, um, it's, it's for, for work. Then Spanish, as any other language, I want you to say it as something that you are going to be using beyond GCSE. Then, what we're going to do, the same thing we've been doing so far, it is the same thing to a GCSE level. It's not going to be any surprises. The only thing is that we're going to be using more authentic situations, more authentic materials, and hopefully uh, getting our learning the next step outside the book. That's, that's the, the whole purpose of doing GCSE in Spanish. For the exam, we do the, exam, the, the same thing again. We have listening, speaking, reading and writing. Um, for the listening paper, uh, and also we have, in Spanish, we have the two tiers, the foundation and the higher. Um, you will be setting one or the other, depending on the, your G and 9 results. Uh, but, all the, but the positive thing is, when you get to year 10, if you work really hard, you can, you can move into higher. If maybe you put you, we put you into higher, and it's not perfect for you, we can move you into foundation. We are very, very flexible, and it depends, it's up to you how hard you work, uh, or what, um, or what you, you can do it in, in the subject. Then for the listening paper, as I say, two, two tiers, the th um, foundation and higher listening paper, as we do in every single lesson. We practice a lot. Um, there is, uh, we, we follow the Edexcel course, we have a lot of listening, some practice materials. Then you really get used to the, um, the listening skills that you need to use very, very easy very quickly. Then one of the speaking, um, this is the one that we are going to be practicing more because in key stage we probably we don't practice as much as we would like to. But um, again, we are going to have opportunities in lessons to practice constantly uh, with, um, and then we'll have a lot of preparation, a lot of mocks. Um, I, I, I really like it. I really like it because this is the, all about the language, is to speak when you go on holidays or when you're going to be using this for your future uh, work. Then reading, this is nothing new again, as we practice on a regular basis. And then the writing, this is the one where the students feel very comfortable with because it's a skill that we practice on a regular basis. There are different lengths, different topics that we have to use, but, um, but again, at the end of the day, it's about you being comfortable with the language and, uh, and being um, uh, capable of using the language in different situations. Then, um, the, the most important thing is that um, uh, you really enjoy the subject. And if you enjoy the subject, you are all very, very welcome. And we want to have you here. And hopefully, uh, if you need more information, come to see me. You know where I am uh, after school, lunchtime, and I can you know, give you more information about it. Ask me in the lessons, ask uh, um, Mr. Sibaja or uh, Mrs. Walton uh, or Mrs. Kuder. You ask us any questions and we will help you. Then we hope to see you very soon and uh, many thanks for your attention. Thank you.